Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com and in this video I'd like to show you how to make the button tie for the Artfully Simple Infinity Scarf. Here I have a button and I have my yarn threaded on a tapestry needle. To start to make this tie, what I'm going to do is put my button on the yarn. I haven't worked any stitches yet. This is just a button on yarn. So I pull out my tapestry needle and what I do at this point is I push the button up out of the way along the working yarn a bit. So that's out of the way. Okay, so now I will make a slip knot just like I normally would to start a chain and I will start chaining. Now the directions in step one say to chain for 18 inches. Doesn't matter how many chains it takes you to get there, but you want to get about as close to 18 inches as you like. Of course, if you prefer a longer tie, you can make it longer, or shorter, whatever you like. As now, as I approach, the button is going to get in the way, so I'll just push that further along the yarn towards the skein and keep chaining to get my 18 inches. Okay. Now, I haven't quite gotten 18 inches, but I'm getting close. So, we'll stop here, pretend I've got 18 inches of chain made. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide the button back down towards the hook, back down towards the live stitch. Okay? Then, right when it's right there, I'm going to go into the second chain from the hook, and I prefer to work into the humps because then I only have to get the hook under one stitch, but you can work into the front if you prefer. So I'll find the second stitch from the second chain from the hook insert my hook and yarn over keeping that button this is kind of awkward but just keep that button right down close there and slip stitch right in there now as you can see the button is now completely trapped so what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch back along the chain for about six inches just go ahead work right into the chain from before. So since we started with an 18 inch chain and we slip stitch in it for about six inches, that leaves about 12 inches left hanging at the end of our slip stitching. So for the sake of time here, we'll say we've slip stitched for six inches. Maybe a couple more here. Now this six inches or however long it is, you might want to make it shorter if you've made a very skinny cowl because what this is going to do is wrap around the entire scarf. So this needs to be long enough to get around your scarf. So if you've made a very thin scarf, you may wish to make this much shorter than six inches. Um, if your scarf is very thick, then you'll want to go the full six inches. So once you've got about six inches or enough to fit around the cowl, what you're going to do is chain eight stitches four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's just taking off from our slip stitches. Now, this could be bigger or smaller. This part's going to depend on the size of your button. Uh, for the size of button I used, eight inches was about right, but you'll need to kind of test this out as you go. Then slip stitch back in the stitch you last slip stitched in, creating a loop. This is the button loop. This should be just big enough to fit around your button. Again, depending on the size of button you use and the type of yarn you're using, this may vary a bit from eight, but as you can see, that just fits around there. Now, after I've slip stitched into that same stitch, then I'm going to slip stitch in the next two chains. One and two. Now, what I'm going to do is chain again. I'm going to chain to the same length as I have unworked, a little bit less than 12 inches because we've chained, we slip stitched for six inches, created our loop, had a couple, so it would be about 12 inches if you're sticking to the measurements. But basically what you want to do is chain again so that it's about the same length of unworked chain here to hang at the end. Or you can make them highly uneven. Again, this pattern, there's no right or wrong. Now, 
when you've got it to the length you want. You go ahead and break your yarn. Finish off, trim up your ends, and you've got your tie. To put it on the cowl, pretending this is the cowl, you would wrap it around, put the button through the loop, and those are the ends that are left hanging. And that's all there is to making the button tie for the Artfully Simple Infinity Scarf. Thank you for watching. Thank you.